what's good y'all so in today's video we're gonna learn how to create a live search in react this is the final product right here we have a list of nba players names with their teams and we're gonna be filtering through nba players names so if i were to type in let's say Kyrie, i can see Kyrie irving's name only if i were to search in uh russell then i'll only see russell westbrook cool let's get into it all right so i already have a react app made and started if you don't know how to make one just go ahead and do npx create react app and then name your app and it started all you have to do is npm start inside of your master directory folder so i've opened up my app.js which is inside of my source folder right here and i'm going to convert this into es6 syntax so the const app is equal to arrow function and i'll also import with this use state and i'll make my first use state variable so i'll do const input and set input is equal to use state of empty quotes all right so now what i'm going to do is copy and paste my array of objects that's going to contain my nba players names and the teams that they play for if you want you can just go ahead and pause the video and copy this in your code all right so what i'm going to do now is map over my array of objects which contains the name and the team and what i'm going to do is just show a simple unordered list tag so a bullet point list of these players so what i'll do is a curly brace inside of the return statement and i'll do nba dot map and i'll give it a parameter of player and index and what we'll do is we'll return and i'll give it a you know let's minimize this terminal if we don't need that and i'll render a div with a closing div and inside of here i'll give it a ul inside of here i'll give it an li and instead of the li tag what i'll do is player dot name so to access the name property and player dot team and inside of the div tag right here i'll just give it a key is equal to index and i'll save that and now it makes it prettier and there we go we have all of our players rendered all right so now going back into the code editor i'm going to create an input with a self-closing brace and inside of here i'll give it a type not a typ a type is equal to text a placeholder mm, let's say search name here boy all right next i'll give it a on change and we'll carry this function don't worry about that so i'll call it handle change and i'll do value is equal to input so just the use state input right here and let's go ahead and create that handle change function right now so the const handle change is equal to e arrow function curly braces and i'll do e dot prevent default first and I'll do set input to be e.target.value. So you might be wondering what is e.target.value? Well, very simply what it does is it gets what are the value is being typed inside of the input field and you're able to console log it or set it to whatever. So if I type Bob in the input field, it would see Bob. All right, so enough of that. Underneath here, I will create an if statement. That's just gonna be if input dot length is greater than zero so if somebody's actually typing something inside of the input we want to do nba is equal to nba dot filter let's give it an i for index not for index just for what i was typing the inside of the input uh, so the return i dot name so dot name from here dot match input and so what this basically is going to do is it's going to check if if i were to type in capital l and e instead of the input field it'll check the name and it's be like hey is there an l and e anywhere inside of here that's a capital l and a lowercase e if it is it'll show it if it's not it won't so let's actually see what it looks like right now so i type in here l e we get lebron if i were to type in k we get two k's kevin durant and kyrie irving but if i were to press in e now we get kevin durant but if i were to type in let's say O, oh, that doesn't exist because it's not part of the array of objects. 
Cool, so that concludes this tutorial. I have a quick challenge for you guys. What I want you to do is try to make an error handling solution. So if I were to type in KE, I can see Kevin Durant, but if I were to type in I, I don't see anything. Now that's not a good user experience. I mean, this entire application is not a good user experience, but like, you get my point. So what I want you to do is try to show an error, something that says like, uh, cannot find player, cannot find uh, whatever that you're doing. And let's say for instance, you aren't showing names. Let's say that you're uh, wanting to render teams. The best way you could do that is to just switch i.name to just i.team and then look for teams as opposed to the names. And if let's say you don't really care about capitalizing anything, you just do uh, dot to lower case and then just dot match. But uh, since we're worrying about names and their capitals, I'll just get rid of it. Cool, so I hope that this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one.